zen and the art of car maintenance. Yeah, something you have to do every broken off there. Um, something you have to do every couple of years. Um, just got both of them are fucked actually. And some wiper blades here. You gotta sort that out too. Something you have to do with these rigs when they get a bit older. Every couple of years you gotta to keep them registered and all that. You gotta do some things. I need need some new tyres. That one's working now. I uh, just got that sorted out. Uh, there we go. There we go. She works. Good. I'll change that one too. I might change these blades. I'll check that coolant there. Maybe I'll do that in a minute. Um, yeah, I caught up a couple of troopers. Uh, there's one bloke he's busy to the 20th. Another bloke he might be able to. Another guy's going to call the guy and see if they can get it sorted out. So if you go through the shop, unless you've got a mate, a, a mate uh, he ended up going off to Osaka or somewhere, so he's not around. So uh, there's a couple other guys. A bloke I haven't seen for ages. I called him up. He said, oh, you, you need a hand with that rig? And I'm, yeah. So he's, uh, I said, oh, there's another guy. He might be able to do it. Um, we're going to call him up this week. He might be able to sort it out. If not... Um, yeah, all right, no worries, just let me know if you need that sorted out. So he's gonna, I'm gonna go and get some more like, tax, um, uh, tax, uh, paperwork and some horseshit I'm gonna do and you know, pop that out of the bolt there, you pop that out of there. Did that to the other side, that's cool. Um, so he's, uh, yeah, if you go through the shop and you don't sort of know them and you don't, and don't get mates rates, um, yeah, you're looking at some, yeah, that bit broke off, isn't it? Um, I went and got these from the, the main shop, the auto backs, auto bar, for the best um, cars in town, they got auto backs here, but they didn't have, it seemed like they didn't have the, the one I was looking for. Well, maybe they did. I was looking at that and not, not that. But anyways, the hardware store had them too, um, for a cheaper. In fact, that Kuyashi, <laughs> Kuyashi means drats. They had uh, cheaper wiper blades, but the girl there, she uh, looked up on the catalogue and all that, because it's all in Jub Jub. Uh, she was able to figure out which ones which. Sometimes you can just buy the real cheap ones and just cut them um, and to suit. Apparently they should slap in straight away. Uh, yeah, so um, uh, yeah, if you go through the shop and you don't know, you end up paying exorbitant prices, and they they try to find whatever they can. <laughs> it could be wrong with it, um, and yeah, you end up paying double kind of thing. Um, oh, there's my, there's my racing plug. Nice. Um, I'll use that in a while. Uh, but yeah, uh, some chats out there. They're gonna sort this out when they can. Uh, right, eh? until then I'll be on the scoot. Um, yeah, a chap has some real rugged. I want these rugged tyres. Um, like, because uh, there's always these nails and nuts and bolts and screws and all kinds of bullshit where I'm at with the, the um, some chaps. Oh, we got going on here. Um, where, yeah, uh, there's a chap next door to me. He's got a set of rugged ones. They're ice tyres with a sort of dual type of purpose and I'm um, always want a set of those, all these other ones and so I asked his dad about it and he said yeah you might not be able to, he might be, he might be using them, he might be selling them, uh, I'll, I'll let him know, I'll ask, I'll drink, call him up tonight and, and um, so they're going to do that, so um, yeah I can't wait, I'd like to get some rugged tyres, either way um, I've already checked out prices for some other ones so um, um so I need a uh, LTs. This is, uh, he's got the perfect size for him. He's got 145s, but 12s, LTs, but they're, they're rugged ice tire deals. So good for all the all the freaking glass and nails and screws and shit. So uh, I said, I oh, want about a couple hundred bucks. And he goes, yeah, I think that's probably too much. So we'll sort that out. See, LT means light truck. So we're getting on to this. All right, uh, so I'll drive. Oh, thank the gods I did the other one first. Shit. This one was stuck real tight and I didn't want to just pop out like the other one did and, and uh still doesn't want to 
You fucking bastard. So, you don't have to go all He Man and the Masters of the Universe. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's got these quick things. Yeah, luckily I did the other one first, so I know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> the other one came out not too difficult. Oh, yeah. At least this one gives me slightly visuals of what's going on. It's all sort of burnt there and burnt there. Some corrosion burning going on here too, so... Hmm, you bastard. <laughs> yeah. I oh, got lucky on that one, the gods were okay with me on that one. Thankfully I did this one first. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Come. Okay, cookie. We now have working headlights. And we still retain our high beams were okay, but uh the actual low beams were shot and they were only showing like the parkers. So that's sorted out. Uh, they'll sort out the coin they are doing it and uh yep. <coughs> sorted out the oil on the stage, that's all good tools on it. Okay, let's sort out these wipers. Something wipe my blades. Alright. You do them again, you've got some kind of clip or something and you're pushing okay. One great thing about these rigs is, uh, don't need, even need tools for these. Um, see, the wiper blades, eh? Some of them have got clips and things with them. Uh, these, these dealies here, don't even need tools sometimes. Um, let me just fit them up like that and, uh, and pop on in. I might need two hands on this one. Cut. Right on. Ah, yeah, won't be able to do too much with this until I get some things sorted out. But, um, right, I just had to check that, mate. I, I suspected that uh, on the exhaust here, this plate thing was just sort of rattling around a bit. And, yes, my, what I expected was correct. Okay, alright, so we've got new wipers now. We've got, uh, uh, that oil's okay now, uh, slightly thicker viscosity, we've got, finally got headlights all organised and all that sort of shit. Um, we figured that issue out and, right, I'm uh, sorting this out. Cut. That little mini cat that came around the other day, he sort of ran away from me, but I was able to get him, oh, there's Tiger again, oh, he's a mate. <laughs> um, uh, I uh, noticed him one day when I had this salmon, and um, I said, "Oi, oi, oi!" No, he wasn't looking too good at all. And so I, uh, I said, "Just wait there." And he kind of waited. And he said, "What's going on here?" And I went and got some salmon and put it out out the front there, and and I went back. Ten minutes later, it was all gone. So that's good, and he's looking okay. He was actually around here. And um, so I guess he's grabbing some of these old bits of leftovers that these guys leave. So he's looking okay. He was looking in real trouble a while back. Well, I'm going to have to go a long way to get a new set of tyres. Let's see now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> um, there you go. Uh, these are freaking great. These are LTs. Uh... And uh, see, little tees, and uh, pretty much, pretty much freaking new. Um, and so, they're uh, ice guard on it, please. Um, you can, hey, let's, let's go with all these spiders. <clears throat> and there you go, the young bloke's like wrapped to have some. Some dough for these, and uh, I save 50 bucks on tyres. Good, good all round. Okay, let's go get some dough for this bloke, oh, my neighbour. <laughs> okay, this is Sunday, didn't go to the market today. Uh, so just trying to sort stuff out that needs to get sorted out. So, 
Uh, a lot got done, just trying to solve all these issues. That's all. Oh, I've got this arduous journey of 90 seconds to walk to the local dinky supermarket. 90 seconds, mate. Anyways, I'm uh, getting there. Apparently it's going to rain on the morrow, but uh, I'll be able to get a few things sent out, that sort of thing. Get that happening. And uh, yeah, just keep soldiering on. And uh, just get get things done. Get it done. All right. That's basically what I'm doing right now. <clears throat> and then, uh, yeah, get back to it. All right, let's get a little bit of something to chomp on. In the worlds before monkey, primal chaos reigned. Heaven sought order, but the phoenix can fly only when its feathers are grown. Well, if I've been sounding a little bit on the subdued side of later, uh, it's just, uh, I haven't been drinking on it. It's just something that's just been browbeaten by some shit that just keeps fucking. There's a, a, quite a number of things that is sort of fucking me right now. Um, but I'm resolving things, I'm getting there and solving things. Ah, uh, but yeah, sort of. Put you down a bit, but uh, I was just watching uh, in the trenches with Kaz. Uh, he's finally out of hospital again. He had some cyst in his face. I mean, shit, he's been in the ER or whatever like five times in six months. And uh, but the bloke's still got his chin up. He's like, uh, you know, not feeling down, just in a low place. And um, soldier on, you know. And he said, ah, uh, he's out in some park, and he says, um. Yeah, so it kind of makes me feel like shit, you know, some things have been giving me the shits. That's true, of late. Just some shit I have to sort of get through, sort out, fix, stuff like that. There's not a whole lot to it. Um, but, you know, the, the slightest of things trigger me these days and just piss me off to no end. Because just, you know, I've gone way beyond the, the fucking stress levels, you know. Once you, once you go bang, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't take much to piss you off. Um... Anyways, uh, yeah, he, he was saying he's going to take a bit of a trip again, and and uh, he did take a trip on a, not so long back on a, a cruise, like a ship cruise thing. But a lot of people feel that, it's, oh, fuck, I could have told him that. A lot of people feel they're going to meet their true love or some shit like that on some cruise. No, there's a whole bunch of Lonely Joe guys that are just like, oh, I'm going to meet some true love. There's no birds <laughs> on one of these trips. It's just silly. It's just a cock fest. Um, they just, you know, sell a story. It ain't, it ain't true. Um, anyways, he found that out. But uh, he said, um, so if you had five grand in five days, what would you do? And uh, immediately, I, uh, I knew what I would want to do. It. I grab my scoot, grab a tent. That's for my tents in the back of my ute that's unregistered now due to clown world and my shit hitting the fan and fucking my business dying and I'm never going to forget those fuckers that engineered all that. But anyways, um, but a lot of people had it worse. They end up killing themselves too over it. Um, anyways, uh, I would um, grab a tent. Uh, you know, I don't think you're allowed to camp there anymore. Um, they say there's a camping ground but no one camps there. I think you can't camp there anymore, something like that. Anyways, Sakurajima is well, it's a it was once an island, and now it's sort of a, made itself a bit of a peninsula, but it's a rocky peninsula bit. But anyways, there's a place called Sakurajima, uh, Sakura Island, Cherry Blossom Island, um, in in the middle of the Bay of Kagoshima. That's south of here. I've been there twice, and that is freaking fantastic. You get the ferry over. And you, you hire a bicycle and ride, a, you can't ride around all the way around it because it's the rocky craggy section, but uh, most of it. And uh, it is such a formidable looking freaking, it's a volcano man. <laughs> and it's active and it's just freaking amazing. And uh, yeah, I would, I would go there and camp. You don't need five grand to do that. <laughs> Shit, I could hitchhike down there and do it myself and just don't even take a tent. Uh, but mate, what a beautiful, freaking beautiful place. But that's what I would do. And then I'd get on a ferry and go to Shimabara Castle or something like that. I just, some beautiful places, man. Kagoshima and uh, the Kumamoto Castle or something. Just, uh, mate, uh, we, I did that with my bro. And uh, it was fantastic. That's what I would do. Yep. Yeah. 
Yes, if you had five grand in five days, what would you do? Yeah, that's a bloody good question. <laughs> One bloke wrote down he put 50 bucks on black. <laughs> on the roulette table. <laughs> yeah, I think he was supposed to write five grand. Uh, yeah, go to the roulette table, go to Crown Casino. <gasps> Oh, and do the bloody lot in one go. <laughs> no, that's not exactly a good idea. All right, me signing off. Um, yeah, he's a good bloke, that one. Uh, he's, uh, he was in the military for a very long time. And, uh, yeah, he's got a, I like how his chin's up all the time regardless, you know. Good, tough bloke, that one. Don't know if he put up with any of my philosophical shit. <laughs> nah, good bloke that one. He's carved out a, a niche of, of a, a way of life, you know. I have to. We're a similar age. Elemental forces caused the egg to hatch. From it then came a stone monkey. The nature of monkey was irrepressible.